absolutely nothing is settled yet in Group 4. Pittsburgh is way behind the eight ball, but they still have a chance. El Paso is looking for a win to stay in the thick of things. As we get you ready for a couple of USL Championship clubs ready to lock horns in USL E-Cup Rocket League Edition. With Devin Kerr, Mike Watts on hand, 1v1, Devin. Group stage features best of three, El Paso in desperate need of a performance here. I am waiting for Anarchy to break out because in your format that you just referenced, top two teams from each group advance to the knockout stage. Guess what? USL Championship, USL E-Cup, USL League One, they all agreed. Let's look at group four. Pittsburgh with a win goes to one and two. El Paso with a loss goes to one and two. RGV with a loss goes to one and two. San Antonio with a win goes to three and oh. You still with me, Mike? Yep. And you could have three teams on six points. This could go any number of ways. Canardo Forbes trying to get off the mat here, Devin. Yeah. Uh, King Kenny. King Kenny, if you can hear me, let's go. Follow Trent Reeland and rise up here. You got to take down El Paso Locomotive. Logan Ketterer feels good, though. He's going to be difficult to match up. Group four, El Paso, Pittsburgh, when we return. Pittsburghers know a thing or two about coming together. We cheer together. Look out for one another. We make this city whole. But right now, coronavirus is trying to change all that. So Allegheny Health Network is asking every Pittsburgher to join the Stay Home team. Stay inside so our doctors, nurses, first responders can focus on conquering this virus. Let's come together in a new way. Let's all join the Stay Home team today. Explore a world of music on WQED. Explore sweater sessions on WQED. Explore educational opportunities. Explore science. Explore early childhood learning. Explore Nebby on WQED. Explore the power of the arts. Explore Pittsburgh Eats. Explore diversity on WQED. Quick thoughts after game two. Uh, pretty happy with how he responded after the, the pretty pretty bad loss in, in the first match. You know, the wheels were turning today. We were we were working hard, uh, buzzing around the field. We were back to playing our game a little bit. Um, I think that's what we kind of missed in the first game. I was trying to be a little too aggressive. You know, made other players make mistakes and, and capitalize when I could. You know, that's maybe not be the possession soccer that, that I want to play, but uh, you know, it, it, it worked out in the end. Had a little bit of a Phoenix moment there in game two. Uh, you know, tires slipped out on me a little bit, pretty bad whiff. I'm um, gonna have to go back to the workshop, talk to the pit crew and uh, really kind of figure out what's going on. Was it a tire issue, tread depth? You know, I, I'm not sure. So we're gonna have to get that sorted for uh, game three here in the group stages. I think we put ourselves in a good position to potentially make uh, make the knockout round, uh, you know. Looking forward to it. Um, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you for game three. Keeper Ketterer knows they started playing their game again against RGV. Now it is Pittsburgh and El Paso. Both are still alive to go to the next round. The results here in group four, Devin, could be simply crazy. Crazy is my middle name, Mike. Ketterer gets the opening goal. Hmm. Where have I seen this before? Where have we seen this before? Coach! Here comes Forbes, patrolling the midfield. First effort high, second effort wide, third effort across the face of goal. And Ketterer adds his second. Uh-oh. Two nothing. That uh that whole one two, one two, one two, three oh scenario, Mike. Gotta be honest. Not looking so good right now. I'm more in favor of the 2 1 2 1 2 1 0 oh, 3.
Petterer off the back of the car, able to nuzzle this across the line. 3-0 start for El Paso. Oh, look at it. Able to nuzzle, using the front of the nozzle. You'll love it. 3 nothing. Mike, I like the car too. Look at the train on the top. Come on, ride that train and ride it. Come on, ride that train and ride it. The locomotive is back on track. Yeah, Most maybe. Improved yeah, yeah, okay. I just, I know we think a lot and, you know, I wasn't necessarily sure if you had hacked into my computer again to see my scouting report, but I feel like we're on the same page. Mm hmm And Devin, let's be very frank about this. Yep. Logan Catterer, assuming we continue to get two goal, uh, two goal performances, wins like we saw against RGV, that's not going to be enough. Nope. 5-0, terrific goal. A game difference probably will not come into play in this group. It would likely be goal difference, and coming into today, El Paso is 35 goals behind RGV. And RGV would need to beat San Antonio to create that three-way tie that everyone's been talking about where it could be six points each. You need to score not a, not a few. You need a lot of goals if you're Logan Ketter. He's off to a good start. I was just about to say, Mike, I don't need any goals. I have plenty of goals in my life. I woke up this morning, I had a glass of water, and I'm talking to you. Goals fulfilled. Logan Ketterer needs goals in the back of the net. 7 nothing. It's tough on Canardo Forbes, Dev, but in reality, you probably need 45 goals. I mean, we're talking record-setting numbers to be able to, to feel fairly confident you could win goal difference moving forward. And again, that's an if. Make it eight. Eight goals for Logan Ketterer in less than two minutes. Confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. The Shermanator. He's back in action. King Kenny, come on, man. I need a goal out of you, buddy. Three goals in four matches isn't going to cut it. King Kenny showed interest in playing in this Rocket League competition. Was one of the lesser-known Rocket Leaguers entering the fray. He has given up a ninth, and the pace for Ketterer right now is a record-setting pace. Ketterer carries. Ketterer. Oh. Make it 10. I, I didn't know he could score 10 goals. I thought nine was the limit he had put on himself. That's it. That's the comment. Oh yeah. El Paso, uh, wow, pouring it on. 11-0. Beauty and the Beast. That, in a nutshell, is Logan Ketter in this tournament. The loss to San Antonio, then the win. You talked about how the two goal performances in terms of distance on the wins was not good enough. How about 12, Mike? He is on record setting pace. He can take down the great record that is owned by Mr. One and only Trent Wheeler. The FC Tucson player who has a 101 goal difference, plus 101.
He scored 22 once and 21 twice. 13 goals just over halfway through. Ketterer's got a real shot. Unfortunately for Canardo, he's on pace as well to eclipse the 19 that he gave up to San Antonio FC. Ketterer. Oh, this is easy. Oh, he missed it. Follows up, and this time, got it to fall. Leave no doubts. Leave no doubts. Not even one. No regrets. Not even one letter. No regrets. Nothing. Do it. Goal differential, Mike. Keep scoring goals, man. You don't know what's going to happen in that San Antonio RGB game. I have an idea, but again, ESPN. ESPN. It's a good thing to have in the back of your mind. Caterer ahead by 15. Mike, you can only have one thing for breakfast for the rest of your life. What is it? Not a breakfast eater. You know what I appreciated? I spent a week and a half in London a couple years ago. A good English breakfast is almost unbeatable. Oh, yeah. Queen size. Some blood sausage. Mom's baked beans. Oh, yeah. I ate more mushrooms in that that two week stretch than any point in my life. Catterer. My God. Up 16. That's legal. I don't know if that's legal, buddy. I wouldn't go flaunting that around. Oh. Logan Ketterer, we said most improved. Little touch off the wall. 16 goals, Mike. He hasn't scored 16 in the entire tournament. Mm. He lost 9-3 and 10-0 to San Antonio. And he is taking out all that frustration right now. He needs five more to tie Trent Whelan's record. He is going to come mighty close. I don't see it happening, but I do see another goal in the future. I think King Kenny's going to score a goal. I'm just saying, call me crazy, call me Dev, call me Mike, but King Kenny's going to score a goal. Not looking promising. That'll hit off the post. Ketterer. Tries to nose it over and now just simply plop it in the net. 18. Rumor has it that Richie Ryan actually spent a day in isolation away from his family to help coach the playing out of the back with Logan Ketterer. It could no longer be from the six yard box or the 18. They had to go full field. They had to go full Mingo. They're doing it. Devin, you and I got a chance to talk to Mark Lowry, the head coach for El Paso's USL championship side. As his goalkeeper has scored now 19 goals, he feels really good about how they're going to be able to play out of the back this year. What we're seeing might, might share some semblance of what they hope to do now. You hope so. A lot of hope in that, Mike. Three away from tying the record. King Kenny gets underneath it. Canardo Forbes, first team all league a year ago. When's the last time you saw a goalkeeper dribble this far forward? Oh, he's going to score from here, isn't he? Jorge Campos, Mike. Fabian Vartez and Logan Ketterer. Excellent company to be in. Now, if only he can catch Trent Whelan. This looks promising. Off the bounce. Caterer waits. Oh, yeah. Steers on frame. One away from tying the record. Look at the touch. Oh, that was in no matter what. Never a doubt. 20 seconds, Mike, to bag two. 
20 seconds to tie one. 20 seconds to lose the whole thing. As it stands, the second most prolific goal scoring performance so far in the group stage. Backing up, Ketterer. Oh, he's lost it. 21 goals. And he comes up short of the record. Still, he leads, and he needs more goals. He needs a lot. Game two coming up. Southwest Chiropractic, serving El Paso area and relieving pain for more than 20 years. Not only do we treat auto, sports, and work-related injuries, but we also treat scoliosis, sciatica, back pain, disc injuries, chronic pain treatment, and we even manage stress. At Southwest Chiropractic, our patients are seen the same day. We provide gentle and effective care, and we accept most insurances. Schedule your appointment today and let us relieve your pain with three convenient locations in El Paso. Southwest Chiropractic, your health is our well-being. Call us today, 915-581-9619. SLE Cup Rocket League Edition. Pittsburgh all but out. San Antonio with a win. Tied with an El Paso victory here. Would send El Paso into the knockout stage. But should San Antonio lose to RGV, we've got a big can of worms on our hands. Caterer lines up the bike and now we'll push it across the line after a couple of missed epic efforts. 1-0. Very different from the 21-0 we saw last game. It's not a typo, Mike. He only has one. That now makes El Paso at this stage. They entered at minus 11. Now plus 11. Plus 12 in goal difference. Trailing RGV at plus 29 and San Antonio plus 45. Got a piece. This row. is aimed top corner. El Paso leads 3 0. Coach. Put him in. He's ready to play, Mike. Any day. Center field. Ball knocked all the way down. Ketterer adds another, and let's not forget game difference could come into play should the San Antonio RGB game that follows this go to three games. Otherwise, if it's a two-goal, uh, two-game rather set, things could be on that goal difference tiebreaker. That's why El Paso is trying to run it up. Ketterer playing off the mistake. Uh oh. He knows. He knows what's at stake. The mistake. Steak dinner. Steak Easter eggs. You know, the good kind. Both teams playing for a partner in these troubling times. Forbes gets back. Ketterer scores another one. 
He's playing for El Paso Food and Beverage Workers Fund. Pittsburgh playing for the Allegheny Health Network COVID-19 Assistance Fund. It's 6-0 now. I'll get it. Anyone. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Not bad. Not bad, Logan. If there's one thing Logan Catterer isn't quite great, at yet. You could argue it's aerial car control. Other than that, he's shown quite well. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. 8-0 again. Think he can put up more than 15, Mike? He's chasing 22. work by Forbes. Caterer bashes it a second time. Beautiful, Mike. Beautiful. One lump of sugar or two in that coffee, Logan. Oh, we'll give you two. Oh, so sweet. The angle here really difficult. Could this get in? Yes, it can. Hmm. Ten. He's behind on pace, Mike. He's behind. We have a problem. Take that back. 11. He's behind pace, Mike. He's behind pace. Twenty-one zero in game one, 11 0 in game two. The picture perfect finish. Kiesevetter couldn't have done it any better. Good news, Mike. He's still behind pace. But look at this side volley. I respect this. And you can't get no respect around this league. No respect at all. Not even one. Little bit. Oh, he's going to score from that corner. Watch this. Here he comes. With the bounce, Forbes can't get the clearance. He'll back it in. Mm -hmm. 13. I tell you what, if this comes down to goal differential, then it comes down to goal differential. Guess what, Devin? He's behind pace. El Paso and RGB are now level on goal difference. Uh-oh. Now it's a party. Who said three's company? 
That's the second tiebreaker. Game difference has yet to be an issue. And just like that, El Paso have scored so many goals, 36, that they have overcome the massive goal difference that they trailed by. Mike, the margins were tight. Some would say slim, others non-existent, but not for Logan Ketterer, not today. Today was his day. Today is his day. Today, oh! he celebrates Independence Day! Look at this. That's an apology. That's an apology. It's in the mail, it's been issued. It's on Bob Lovick's front door. Off the kickoff. Oh, it's wide. The goal difference right now is just plus two over El Paso, uh, over RGV. So every goal here matters. And the good news is, Mike, is I was allowed to get a glass of water. The bad news is, for King Kenny, another goal. He's closing in on pace, Mike. Well done by Forbes. He has a chance to put one in here. Bats it over Forbes. Ketterer. Ketterer. That gets over the line. There are now officially two routes. A San Antonio win or an El Paso win by a slim margin or a massive margin. There are a couple ways now El Paso can get through. Cater oh, tried to bike around, it. bruh. <laughs> he tried to bike it, Mike. Where's Kenny? There he is. Nope. Bam. Well, I don't think we're going to see the final three that would tie the record. However, 40 goals in two matches is not too shabby, my friend. to regret that looking to add one more at the death won't get there El Paso trailed RGV on goal difference coming in by 35 they were level on points El Paso moves into second for the moment with their 40 goal aggregate win highlights next many goals. El Paso didn't score many goals in the first two matches. They had all the goals in match day three against Pittsburgh. Devin Pittsburgh are out. El Paso has multiple routes into the knockout stage. They're going to be watching the Copa Tejas match. San Antonio RGV with bated breath. Mike, I took the over on Canado Forbes. 
I took the over. It was zero. It was zero for goals scored. I took the over, and I lost my shirt. However, Logan Ketter. Logan. 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 Logan! What did you do? Rude. Astonishing. Rude. Amazing. Rude. Final 16. I'm happy for you, my friend. Most improved player, in my opinion. Trophies in the mail. We'll see you there. Catterer enjoying himself. El Paso win this series. And all eyes turn now to San Antonio and RGV to close out the group stage. For Devin Kerr, producer Sharni Yerke, and our entire Vista World Link team, Mike Watts, saying so long. Thanks for watching USLE Cup Rocket League Edition. We'll see you next time.